Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex here. And in today's video, I want to talk about keyword research for um, either your appliance repair ads uh, or even your appliance repair website. So for long-term keyword research, you're going to need to pay for a tool if you want to find just the best keywords and get the most data. Uh, but using Google Ads Keyword Planner completely free, uh, you can get some pretty cool uh, metrics, some pretty cool data, and find out whether it's not uh, whether or not it's worth it to target specific areas uh, in your service area. I know a lot of you guys uh, have trouble setting up the site, finding keywords, determining where to target. Um, but this should show you, give you a kind of a broad overview on how to do that. By the way, if you're having trouble uh, with your appliance repair marketing, with SEO, with showing up online, running Google ads for your appliance repair business, you can click the link down below, set up a consultation call completely for free, uh, just to kind of go over the issues you're having. Um, I'm happy to share some insights uh, and helpful advice and see if there is any opportunity to work together to grow your appliance repair business. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. So to find keywords uh, and to see if areas are worth targeting, it's kind of two parts. And let me actually uh, write this down so I uh, make sure that I cover everything we can get rid of that. And that's sorry, just add this find keywords. Uh, and find areas worth targeting. All right, this is what we are going to focus on in today's video. So to find keywords to start, right? Let's go with Pittsburgh. Uh, all right, this is Google Ads, by the way. If you haven't signed up already, go ahead and sign up. This is all completely free. Uh, and you can do all this just without even running ads at all. Um, you're gonna use this strategy probably for Google Ads the uh, Google Ads campaign, but it's going to be more helpful for SEO just for this kind of perspective here of this video. So go to Keyword Planner um, and the Keyword Planner is under Tools. And let me just move this to the other side. Basically, uh, on your on the Google Ads homepage, just go to Tools, click Keyword Planner and then discover new keywords and it will bring you to this. So uh, what you're going to want to do is choose your area and it's going to look like this without any area selected. Uh, it's just going to be a zoom out of America uh, or probably highlight your area. Uh, and for this video, we're just going to go with we're going to start with Pittsburgh to show you just the broad uh, overview of how to do this. Right. So it's already we already had saved that. Uh, so we're already in Pittsburgh. All you have to do now to start your keyword research is just type appliance repair. You don't have to click fridges or ovens or, or washers or dryers or anything like that. And then boom, get results. Now, if you can see here, this is a year of data. Uh, we can dismiss this. And if you scroll down, you can see here, Google has now given us tons and tons of super helpful keywords uh, for things that their volume is showing up people looking for uh, based on ads that they're running uh, and that people are running. So this is what people in uh, Pittsburgh for example, are searching every month. These pe people in Pittsburgh are searching for these keywords hundreds of times, dozens of times, tens of times. And as you can see, uh, there are a lot, a lot of keywords here, right? So Bosch dishwasher repair, GE appliance service, right? Uh, and it, the list just keeps going. Um, Samsung fridge repair, same day appliance repair. Now all of this should give you ideas for how to build out landing pages on your site for SEO, as well as uh, ad ideas if you want to be targeting uh, these specific services, if you're able to work on uh, these specific products. And it's it's really that easy. Uh, so you can export this list or just paste it into um, Google Sheets or a, a spreadsheet and just basically start building out the site from there. Now you're, well, you're gonna wanna have the site structured properly. You're gonna want the pages to be optimized to convert, to drive traffic, uh, and just making sure they're showing up in search uh, for the searches that people are making. Um, and that was, yeah. Uh, and then, so that's just the broad Pittsburgh overview. This is enough to get you started if you have a site in Pittsburgh or really any major metropolitan area uh, in North America. And then the next thing you wanna do that a lot of people have trouble with is, if you're based in Pittsburgh, your service area uh, is going to be, I don't know, 40 miles, 60 miles, an hour of driving. Uh, and Google's going to show you a bunch of neighborhoods here right now. So if you're in Pittsburgh, uh, you're going to have to kind of figure out how granular or how broad you want to get. Um, you're not going to want to be creating content for like, you know, 
Ingram, right? Ingram fridge repair, it's probably not going to be looked at too much. Uh, so you're going to want to zoom out to a certain point where Google Maps will start showing you neighborhoods. And if you're based in the city, you may know neighborhoods to target, uh, but there still, might, there still might be some you missed depending on how well you know the area. Uh, and we're just going to go with Bethel Park uh, for an example for, for this uh, video. Now, you, what you would do in Google, uh, on Google Ads is you would just change the location to Bethel Park, right? Uh, you would get rid of Pittsburgh and you can see there's 78,000 people uh, within Bethel Park. So again, that's enough to create content specifically for Bethel Park. You just hit save and uh, this should update. Yeah, it's just updated. As you can see, there are still a number of people searching for appliance repair within Bethel Park, Samsung appliance repair, uh, Maytag repair. These are people that are searching for this service um, all within Bethel Park. Now, some of this is going to overlap into the rest of uh, Pittsburgh, the area around Bethel Park, but uh, there are people searching for these services uh, within Bethel Park. And that's just one neighborhood in Pittsburgh. And I'm sure there's Dozens of neighborhoods that you could be targeting. Uh, this is just going to give you the site idea, the the idea of, of how to structure your site uh, for SEO and as you could run. Right? I mean, if you have a really tight budget, if you want to really focus on specific services, you could run Samsung fridge repair ads in Bethel Park and still drive traffic. Right? I d highly doubt. And we can just check right now. Uh, Samsung fridge repair Bethel. So Google isn't even giving us a drop down, so there isn't that much volume, and I highly doubt, uh, no, nobody is even running ads for this. So for example, if you did run ads and you set, I don't know, a few dollars, let's say, yeah, a few dollars a day for this campaign because it's so, so searched so little, when someone does search for this service, uh, it's gonna be your business showing up. And the fact that there's only 34 results, but Google is telling us that there are people uh, in Delpho Park searching for Samsung fridge repair is a huge opportunity for SEO. Um, these people that are ranking probably just got lucky. Um, yeah, most of these are just, nobody's even, only this guy, there's like very few businesses that are actually actively targeting these keywords. And it just shows you the huge opportunity out there if you do kind of shift your focus into SEO and optimizing your site for what people are searching for. Um, alternatively, you would want to use a, a keyword tool like SEMrush, like Hrefs. Uh, these are going to incur a monthly cost, uh, but and they will give you more data. They will give you a better idea on how to structure your site. But at that point, it's going to get way too granular. And uh, as a business owner, you're going to spend way too much time just screwing around online and trying to find, you know, you're going to be going down rabbit holes, doing keyword research and stuff like that. So with Google Ads, uh, their keyword tool completely free. And it's what I would recommend uh, to do your own keyword research for SEO, as well as for uh, building out your ad campaigns. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, if you need help with your SEO uh, or your Google ads, or just your marketing campaign overall for your appliance repair business, you can click the link down below for a free consultation call. So we can just kind of go over your issues and see uh, if there's any way for us to help you grow your appliance repair business. Otherwise, as always, you guys, thank you for watching uh, and we will see you in the next video.